It's only June, not even peak of summer, and it's so hot in Washington, D.C., the city has issued a heat emergency, leaving residents and tourists searching for any place to find shade to stay cool. I know I would never come back to D.C. in June <laughs> if it's going to be this hot, so I would rather come like at the cooler times, but it, the heat's intense. A new report conducted by the UN Development Program surveyed tens of thousands of people in 77 countries and found climate change is of growing concern. Some of the key findings, 80% of the people surveyed want their governments to do more on climate action. 86% want to see countries set aside geopolitical differences and work together on climate change. 79% think rich countries should do more to help poor countries adapt. And 56% say they think about climate change at least once a week. We have increased wildfires, droughts, sea level rise. We all know that this climate crisis is, is on the doorstep. And as the Secretary General has said, the issue of being able to stay below 1.5, it is possible it's just about possible, but we have to take action here and now. And it's very clear that people want to see climate action urgently. In the days ahead, much of the U.S. East Coast could see temperatures near or above 37 degrees Celsius. I believe that uh, for the past decade, we have been screaming uh, that we want this government, this country to do something about climate change. Uh, but big business and their dollars keep continuing to get in the way. The U.N. official who led the survey told me she hopes everyone will read it, but particularly world leaders, because it's people in power that are facing decisions on climate that will affect generations to come. Gabriel Zondo, Al Jazeera, at the United Nations in New York. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.